Hello and uh, welcome to the Overwatch Case Legends Varsity Team versus Menominee Falls. We are um, scrimmaging today. Uh, Bryce, uh, how are you doing this fine morning? Uh, good. How about you? Well, actually, technically it's afternoon, but good. Oh. How about you? Yeah, I'm I'm doing great uh, on this fine morning. It's a it's a real pleasure to be here. Um. We certainly are going to have a matchup today. Uh, last week, if you had not catch it, uh, we did play against um, somebody. I don't, I don't exactly remember, but yeah, it was a good game. It was the um, Real School Bulldogs. Oh, yeah. It was the Real School Bulldogs. A little louder, you guys. Um, a little louder. Is this good? Yeah. This is becoming an ASR, ASMR. ASMR. I can't speak today. Yeah. <laughs> Here, uh, time when the match is starting. I will be right back. Alrighty. So, yep. Um, if you do notice, one of our, uh, oh, actually one of our players today on the uh, startup match, a uh, startup, we do have, um, we have Nathan as invited. We have uh, Mickey as Mighty Pants. We have Miguel as Rated. We have Addison as Pun Dude. Emily as M the Man and Becca as Beep Bop Boo and uh, Mighty Pants or uh, Mickey has created these cool little chibis in the in the corner. I am on the right side. I am Aiden. Little great chibi, and on the left side is Bryce. And I'm back. Oh, you're back. That's great. Um, I'm gonna go in order off what I said. So uh, this is Nathan. He's our Roadhog, our tank. He's off tank, so he usually goes Zarya, Roadhog, or Diva. No shields. Uh, average damage is, wow, 10,000 per minute, or 8,000 per 10 minutes. Next, we have Mugi as our other tank. Another off tank, so we will. So you might see some dives here. She has Diva, Roadhog, and Sigma. She does 5,000 damage per 10 minutes, which is crazy right there. Next, we're going to be going to our other player, Miguel. He's our DPS. He um he plays Reaper, Zombra, and McCreese. We have two hit scans and a tank killer on that lineup here. Next, we are going to Pun Dude. Um, are you eating or something? Hiding? Yeah, sorry. I was trying to open a bag of M&Ms quietly, oh, but I'll just beat myself. <laughs> yeah. Addison as Pun Dude. He's our DPS. He plays Genshi, McCree, and Hanzo. So he is a straight up hit scan. Gamer Fuel. I mean, yeah, I think Pun Dude is on Gamer Fuel, honestly. Oh, wait. That was supposed to be us. Next, we have M the Man. Your support here, Mercy Moria Ana. 10,000 average healing per 10 minutes. So it's about 1,000 health healed per minute. Oh, balls. Uh-oh. I have a family matter to attend to, and I'm streaming. I don't know. And uh, last but not least, we have Deep Mom Boop, or Becca, which does a... Um, we got Zen, Mercy, and Diva. She does about 3,000 healing per 10 minutes. And, uh, yeah, that's our lineup, startup lineup for now. It is a absolute great uh, composition here. Let's, uh, let's see how our... Uh, off tanks and absolute, you know, pun dude. What was she? What we should call them. Pun dude did get really. Uh, she was practically the MVP last round or last match against the real school bulldogs. So uh, let's give him a name or something. Uh, we could call him something, something snazzy. Uh, what, what's what's what snazzy thinks? Got chat. We need a we need a name for him. Yeah, I mean, it's uh honestly, honestly uh it's gonna be um you know, it's gonna be a matchup. We have a uh, rated, and pun dude as our lineup for DPS. I'm I'm actually excited to see how that has. What I miss? Uh, basically just me talking about our lineup. Got it. Uh, Looks like we are waiting on someone, so. Yeah, it looks like we're over here. Yeah, one sec.
Sorry about that. I just had to go. I just had to go get uh, get some family members. And we're currently watching Pundu now. He's absolutely ripping up the back line. Maybe that should be his name, Pundu the Ripper. Look at him go. The Junkrat. Can he get the Junkrat? Can he get the pick? And he does get the pick on the deflect. There he goes in the back line. Let's get that nice little background damage. Yeah, absolute poke damage here, and that's pretty clear if they do enough poke damage all around that they could wipe the team in almost simultaneous hour. Some good picks there. He that is keeping a, them in the choke point. That was a poor, uh, a, a really poor teleport by uh, the enemy Reaper. The Zari is pushing up. In my opinion, I believe it was actually... You know, to bring their attention away from the choke point and to the Reaper, so they had the chance to get through, which it worked. Yeah, Pundu does get his Pundu ultimate, and there it is. There's the ult. Can he? Oh, there's one. One. Oh, can he get another? No, he doesn't. And he's trapped. He gets bubbled, deflects. There he goes, and he gets saved by the bubble. That was from Mighty Pants. We do get critical hit back, and we do get a pick on the junk. The Reaper trying to get picks on him. And there's the deflect. Down goes the Reaper. Pundu's absolutely ripping up their line. They can't seem to get past our Genji. Look at the golden gold gun here. Absolute scary here. And he's he's making sure they can't push past or shoot through it. Maybe he's going to the side. Getting a little poke damage from the side. Yes, he is. Their Junkrat is starting to pick up our team a little bit. Yeah, the Junkrat is starting to pick up. We don't hear you. Let's go uh, look at someone else. Let's go look at our other DPS raided here. They have taken the point. Wait. We do have several alts, so if we do use them carefully, in my opinion, we might be able to win this round. Hey Bryce, could you check out the stream on a different tab? Because it uh, seems we're having a bit of issues, uh, a bit of issues with people uh, hearing us. I mean, I can check it out. Yeah, if you could. Rady gets a narrow escape. Let's uh, see if there's anyone else on the fronts here. No, it looks like they've all been pushed up. We're going to be uh, spectating some. So, uh, here, um, can you actually, I'm going to mute you really quick. Yeah. All right, let me see if I can do it. Okay. Okay, now talk on stream. Hello. If you could hear us. That'd be uh, great. Yes. Okay, so you're a little quiet. I am a little quiet. Are you quiet? Yeah. Okay, let's see if I get. Both of us are just a little quiet. Yeah, both of us? Well, I, I can't do anything about that. They're all like almost max. I don't wanna. It does look like we are able to secure the round. Yeah, yeah hopefully we secure. Hopefully. Wait, has he watched? Did he pause the stream? I'm muting the stream. Oh, V got me good. I thought I thought there was something wrong. I thought all my testing. After this game, can we call a timeout? Looks like they want to call a timeout. 
Oh my gosh, my coach just scared me. I thought I was doing something wrong. I was like, man, I worked so hard on getting this. Looks like we're getting end the man. If you look at text after the match. Oh yeah, I forgot to download the text. Whoopsies. You know, let's go first person on what critical hit is doing. Yeah. So critical hit? Yep, we're going critical hit first person view here. That's he cool. did have a very strong performance last round. Yeah, we don't even have a shield character, I don't think. If I tag nope. here, yeah, we don't have a shield character, so... Elder Diving. Pure Unless diamond. he counts the match as ultimate. Misses the hook on the... It looks like they've gone Pharmacy. Whoa, yeah, the Pharmacy is doing a lot of poke, not even poke damage. They're gonna go... They do have Zarya there, it looks like. A Zarya, Reaper. Reaper goes down. We do trade. Look, oh, can they get their... No. The objective is being taken by us. And it does go to us before they could contest the capture. So it does go to us. The, the lasers... You do off. get the Lucio. Yeah, the Lucio goes down to... Uh, oh. We do trade... Uh, we do trade... Uh, road hogs um, here. Yeah, hogs. I'm not down goes their mercy. Let's go spectate someone that's alive. Okay, our race. I'll show you spectate Mighty Pants. Mighty Pants. Let's see where she is. There you go. We're gonna go spectate some Zarya here. I, I would. Oh, maximum charge there. She's slowly losing it though, but she d does get 100. Teleporter has been created by our uh, Raided here. Maybe to get back on the point. There you go. She's lobbing some shots there. Does hit the, the wall. The is trying to get pick damage. I don't know. Oh, damage. I mean, the far herself does a lot more damage than a bit of poke. I would say, like a, a Genji or maybe a shooting with Reaper from far, a far bit away would be a um, would be poke damage. But uh, Genji far, does it, all. Genji so does and Critical hit. hits. It's a double ult here. It, there's the res. Roadhog gets res. They would have to take out the Mercy, and there goes the enemy Hog ult, and she gets maximum charge because of it. And there goes. There goes the sim, sim ult. Uh oh. There's a uh, a big ult there by our by the enemy team's or not McCree, huh? the enemy team's Reaper. Yeah, right, let's go spectate uh, M the man. Looks like they're keeping us at the choke point here. And rated does change to uh, Reaper. Reaper, yeah. Looks like they're moving left side. Pundu does change to McCree too, just to get rid of the uh, the Farah. See if she could pick Farah. The healing does go up. Lucio, Lucio is coming behind. And there is the ult. Reaper goes in. The Reaper then fades out. She almost gets clipped on the doorway and almost taken out. Looks like they're keeping us on every choke point. She does get her ult though. Let's see how well she could. Oh, it looks like Reaper is contesting on point, but he does not survive. Yeah, Reaper doesn't, you know, get the get the enough attentions for the team to push up. It was just a fruitless, fruitless never. They are now being holed up in the room, being taken out. Look at, would you look at that? Also, stick tuned, stay stick tuned, stay tuned to after match because we are actually having interviews with two of Menominee Falls players. The 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 Roadhog does get booped off the map. And that booped pulled somehow. It's just constant fl flinging damage there. They have a lot more burst damage than uh than constant damage than they do, and that that's proving difficult to deal with. I believe that if we had a shield and character, we might be able to make it through here, but we, could, we don't. Oh, and there Dongo, is. Dongo, Zarya, and our Moira. They're on the point now, actually. Their... It's 1 3. Reaper's getting revived. A risky revive behind enemy lines. They don't know it. There you go. And she keeps it getting pocketed. There's the there's the ult. Oh, that was the uh, ult from the enemy team. I did not even notice that. We Let's do see. get a few picks. Let's go. Beep bump boop does touch point, does touch point, but she is getting a bit, a bit, a bit poked there. She's dealing with a lot of damage now. 
and she does get taken out. Critical hit on point now. Let's see if the, it's t Mercy's Mercy's been Mercy's been taken out, and then Reaper is done. There's a Mercy res for our uh, Reaper here. There, they have to be pushed back. It does look like we do cap the point. Oh, that was a failed attempt on a hook hook drop. A waste of a hook, really. Down goes their hog. Looks like their far is trying to get on point with the Mercy or maybe just doing some poke damage for the team to be able to. But it, it is reaching up to the 99 here. Looks like they are going up. They are going for a flank. Oh, there goes. Ball does get taken out. And uh, here comes the hog, whole hog here. Try to push him off point. It gets him off the point. Oh, it does not. They're all pushing it at once. Oh, that was a double critical kill. Critical hit there. gets two. Oh, oh, critical hit. Can he get three? Can he get three? Can he finish it off? No. Maybe. Hammond does get one. Maybe he could get... Hammond's being a bit annoying. Where'd he go? Where did he go? He did get it's... stunned by the... He did There's get stunned Lucio. by Addison and he did kill him. Lucio goes down. There's a tracer now. Just trying to get a point fast as possible. No whatsoever for... Team, team competition, and there's the map goes straight to us. Remember to update the score. Yes, I will update the score. Okay. Wrong map. I need this. And if I do remember right, if I do remember right, we will be taking a pause here. So. Yeah. Uh oh. You might want to plug that merch, I guess, while we're there. Yeah, it looks like we are going to do a pause. I'm going to mute myself if you would mute yourself, please, and we'll just plug in some merch. Yep. See you in a little bit.
quickly show that and then i'll tell you when you put it back to game overlay yep uh welcome back we just had a, a small technical difficulties with uh some of our overlays yeah 
we might not be having some of those but uh yeah um they are getting ready now they uh they had an issue with a player you know player issues like uh, i think someone someone's someone's computer wasn't working the way it was supposed to anyways uh we are in a hybrid actually so um last last match it was a point last match was point so it was basically king of the hill for whoever uh, whoever was longest lasting hybrid is king of the hill for the first half and then the second half they have to move a payload if uh for you tf2 fans the payload is uh can only be moved when uh, it is not contested and only the uh attacking team is on it uh, they move um, from, I believe, two different points. So um, they capture the point first, then they uh, move point from uh, the the captured point to point A, and then from point A to point B, which is uh, the winning match. Um, if they do not make it towards the end, then they switch sides, and uh, whoever makes it the farthest, basically. So uh, if the enemy team did not capture the point, all the... Uh, when they switch, the other team would have to capture the point and they win the map. And also, if both teams do make it to the end, then basically you do a second round with the remaining time each team has. If it's below 60 seconds, it does round it up to a minute. Pog W? I thought it was Pog U, like Pog U. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Let's get some hype in chat. Hype, 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 hype. Hi guys, welcome to ASR my stream. Today we'll be saying hype all over again. Are we uh, starting the stream? We're entering the game now, boys. Yep, yeah, we are going in. We are going in. Let's change this to... There are multiple punks, sir. Yes, TF2 is epic, yeah. I can't agree fully with that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. <laughs> We're on a, a King's Row. This map is pretty infamous for uh, one of its tight uh, corridors for, for it's a really tight corridor for um, the payload. It's a really good for uh, junk rat mains or any uh, spread damage. Really, uh, the point is really infamous too. Let's just hope that uh, we uh, we legends could make the uh, make the win. Oh, we looks like we have a Reinhardt for our mighty pants, yo. Chat, pick a number from 1 to 5, and that's who we're spectating. Come on, guys. Chat, 1 to 5. What about 6? Uh, 6. 1 through 6. Um, I could count. Come on, chat. I need a quick one. Quick one before the fighting starts. Chat, chat, come on. I'm panicking. Panicking. We got no panicking. Anakin, I don't have looks a plan. Like you better six. start panicking. We, looks like we got a six. So we're we're ah oh, wow we're uh, spectating pun dude who's a Hanzo hitman, hitman. <laughs> Hit scan. It looks like there's a widow up there. Hanzo or our pun dude is uh, clearly ready for the the pick. Looks like we're lobbing it over there. There you go. We're trying to pick the widow there. Look, pun dude did have to avert his attention. Down goes the Lucio. Uh, yes, our Junkrat. Yes, a Junkrat on this map is actually a kind of pog. It takes down the enemy Lucio. Pundude is job. Pundude's job is basically to take down any flankers or hits hit scans in the area. Reaper is going behind. Reaper is going behind. Looks like he's trying to get a little a cheeky drop on the on the tanks. Because to disable a tank is to basically disable a main, a big big part of the uh, play. Because uh, without Done any tanks? You can't really. Ooh, the distraction from the Reaper does allow Widow to pick off our Moira, but we do get the Widow back. Yeah, we do get their Widow back, and it looks like a uh, Pun Dude is in the back, slightly picking him off. Look at can can he does pick out the the tank? It looks like we already have a the Cole Lessons already ready. Looks like the a Lucio in the back. Ooh, there's a pick. Can he get the second hit? There's the second hit. Pun dude is absolutely going crazy. Uh, there's so many names we could. And he already has the Moira. dual dragons. There, there goes the Lucio. Not the Lucio. The Widowmaker. Now we're just putting him on the chokehold here. Seeing if it's there are two tanks. It's pretty risky. I do uh, have to say, I'm actually surprised to see Mighty Pants playing a uh, shield tank. I'm used to see her. I'm used to seeing her play off tanks. Yeah, 
Now let's go spectate someone else. Let's spectate the Junkrat. Junkrat is a main part of ripping those tanks up. So, um... Well, a team without a tank, uh, a team without a shield basically cannot push up all that fast. And there How comes the Dragon Strike and point. the Grav? Dragon Strike and Grav together works together, picks off two people. They're Rhine and they're Moria, so they're down a healer and they're down a tank. Me Miguel or Rady does try killing the Reaper, but putting him to low health, it would seem. There you go, He's re he has Riptire ready and set, so... I mean, like, if they do, there's some bank shots. He's trying to get those ricochet kills. He's trying to make sure he puts a lot of pressure on that chokehold for his team to uh, certify themselves into a, a, a winnable spot here. So far, it enemy is team has backed themselves into a corner here. A minute and a half left on the match before, and they still haven't even touched the point. No percentage, no nothing. And there's another coalescence from the enemy team. Rip tire goes out, right? Oh. Oh, and he does it get, does taken get out destroyed. Like Mighty Pines does get revived, so we are going to spectate her. Oh, and she gets, she gets eliminated very quickly. Um, and it looks like it's a team wipe. Yeah, it looks does look like a team kill. Yeah, that is a team kill. So uh, they with 60 seconds remaining, less than a minute remaining, they do get the payload. So they do get a bit added time, I believe. Yeah, they get about about three minutes, two minutes maybe. It's two and something minutes i wasn't able to do the math and down goes becca she's getting revived quite early she does have coalescence so this part of the uh this part of the uh this part of the match since it's hybrid was after they took control of that point instead of cra instead of grabbing a second point or uh or you know total dominance of one point they uh instead they turned and uh grabbed a um crap get a nice little pick there Instead, they do uh, start moving a payload, as you can see, a P for Devend, as they make sure that no one can stay on top of that. Let's move characters. We're going to critical hit as Zarya. <laughs> yeah, I understand you, V. We are uh, going on a critical hit. One of our more experienced tanks on the uh, on our roster that we had. There's the grav. Yeah, there's the grav on our enemy team, and there's our. How grav. comes the enemy grav? There goes our How grav. How comes our grav? That doesn't do much for it. Rated does take. Uh, enemy reaper does take down both our DPS. There goes How the earth the shatter, shatter, but it was blocked. It doesn't do much good. We we're being pushed back immensely. They're pushing very far on us. Let's see. Let's see if we can get the reaper. No, they don't. And a uh, critical hit goes down. Let's see how Rated's doing. Yeah, they Rated pushed up Rated is very back far. to Reaper. Rated is back to Reaper. They pushed up extremely far. The Zarya is Zarya's getting poked a bit by Rated. Yes, they uh, they seem to have. They need to uh, put it to that point, and uh, they do have a couple meters left. There goes Reaper. Our uh, Reaper he just teleport to the payload. But it was a poor teleport. He's right into there and he gets picked off by the enemy Reaper. Let's see how our pun dude is doing. They have gotten the payload, so they do get two minutes. Almost three minutes now. Pun dude is getting annoyed by that Lucio. It's making him it's making it a little hard for him to put pressure on the rest of the team. It is. He's being severely low. Both the supports are chasing him down. He does get a little bit of help from critical hit though. He does. And the man is now boosting him. They are pushing on. This is an aggressive push here. And there goes Reaper ult, big ult, big ult, and Coalescence and to take off. Critical hit has to move back. Raided. Critical hit's on a very low health. They're basically doing some spawn room healing. They've done a lot of pressure. The Zarya, I don't understand how that hook happens. Look at him. We have to contest grab, here or else we grab, will it, lose. That's it. The grab. The grab, it's contested. The gra Oh, there goes... um. Fire, uh, dragon strike. Raided is fighting on point, but can he survive? No, he can. He gets booped off. We got raided here. And he does go down. He does get taken down. Pundu does dragon do strike. Dragon is strike is on point. And that is. But a, they do get that's, the third point. That's round one for. Uh, that is round one for Manamity Falls. An absolute earth shattering wipe for us. It is crazy there. They do have a minute and thirty-eight minutes, uh, a minute and thirty-eight seconds remaining. So, in all honesty,
All right, guys. Uh, who do you want us to uh, examine this this round? Okay, right, come on, chat. We need some we need some suggestions. Who do you want to see? We want to see primarily. Come on, chat. Hurry before round starting. You want to see some more Mighty Pants? She has gone a shield character this round. So, interesting choice. She's done uh, nice. Well, she did go, uh, she did go, um, uh, Ryan last round, but uh, I guess Sigma is a better choice. Pun dude, you guys want to see some pun dude action? Uh, he's going his signature look, Genji, with a Reaper. Look at him, he's staring down that Reaper. That's that's his target. Look at him. He has the headshot lined up. Oh, he's looking down. The Reaper did drop down. You can see the the opposition. It looks like they do have an Ana for sniping. He's just putting pressure on the snipers, make sure no one can do it. He is going straight around that statue, climbing it up. The Hanzo. He does some recon. They are going straight around. It's a dive comp. They're pushing them back at you really far. Going Hundred from... is chipping away at the shield. And he's going behind. He's grabbing some distraction off of that. Look at that. They rip on the back of it now. That's absolute disarray. Down goes our Winston. We do get their Lucio. Maybe. Down maybe... goes our Moira. Oh, oh, oh. Very low. We're on the point now. They're all grouped up. It's uh, easy pickings for Pun Dude, maybe with his uh, scatter shots. Both their DPS are getting uh, damaged a lot. Oh, Pun Dude just gets saved by the Bell by M the Man. Ooh, headshot. Right this is a very rough start to the round. And there goes Father down John. Down goes the Hanzo. Hanzo's been taken down. Coalescence already. It's crazy. And we have Dragon Blade already. Reaper does take down uh, the enemy Reaper, raided. We do stun out their uh, shatter. Yes, there we go. There's Dragon Blade. He's trying to get picks here. He goes one click. He gets, gets two pick on the, the healers. Fourth. Absolute crazy plays here. Oh, he does get pinks though. Let's go see you raided now. That's a capture on point. Very quick. We have four minutes and five five minutes to get to the other point, which is way more than what they have. Looks like we're trying to push him back. While we're at a bit of a more of um, not as a team fight, real quick question for chat: Do you which which candy do you guys like more, Starburst, Snickers, Skittles, or M and M's? Uh, honestly, I'd say Skittles. Um, uh, Skittles are like my currency. Cryptocurrencies will make Skittle coin, the S coin. I mean, if only. Let's look up Mighty Pants. She does go Diva. I'll tank. She almost has her ult. Look at her. She does have ult. Maybe she's holding on to it. It'd be a perfect time to do it now. She does do it now. Did she get anybody from it? No, she doesn't, but she does a lot of... She does push. break the Ryan shield. She does, and a Ryan without a shield is... Uh-oh. Double ult, double DPS ult. That was a big ult there. It was a waste, though, since, you know, they already had two zoning ults off there. And there we go. It is a team wipe. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, wait, no. Pundu did escape. Yeah, Pundu did escape. Let's run. Let's watch some hog play here by our critical hit. Yeah, they're uh, absolutely zoning it. Fire Strike does get wasted on that. And Father John does pick off our Pundu. But he is able to safely come to spawn instead of having to fight through an entire team to come back. Yeah. We do deflect the Fire Strike and start to move in. Yeah, this is a, a move in here. Fire Shark does get defended. Uh, we are holding onto a whole hog right now. It does seem that they're going in. There you go. They pulled in. There's a Ryan shield. Ryan's getting Ryan's getting focused. Ryan does go down. Those are they're getting pushed back now. It's a total wipe on them. Look at them go. There's the Reaper. He doesn't get hit though. There's no kill. It's just a pick. They do get pushed back. Would they? Looks like critical hit is moving to the left side. Maybe push. Pandu does steal the show from Raided. He does steals the show from a uh, critical hit and Raided. He's just pushing them way back, pushing them back far so they could get to the other point and still have maybe a, about four minutes. They are pushing back up, trying to stop us from uh, 
getting to the red. There's the Sadly, earth shatter. It missed. Raided our reaper did all, but Pundu did clean it all up, and it looks like they do shatter. Can they get on the point? They have a meter and 65 left. There's Lucio ult. Grab and, and Lucio grab. are out. He's tanking hits now. There goes. Down there goes, goes the Reaper. Ford. Down goes Reaper, but down goes our hog. Hundu's ult does Dragon go Blade out. Does come out. It do he doesn't effective. get any picks. No effectivity, and he has to move back on low health. Barely, barely makes it to the point. My spirit grows Let's go watch some raided here. I'd actually like to see Raided actually play Junkrat at this part. Yeah, it may not be up front, but I think yeah. it would actually still be a great asset here. Yeah, it would be a great asset. There goes there goes their... Looks like they're pushing. There's the Coalescence from our team. Pundu does go above. Reaper is up top. Down goes their Moira. And there goes whole hog. It's pushing them back. Effective zoning tool. They can't make it. And we do get 2 minutes and 45 seconds left. An extra added time. Reaper does go down. Raiden. It looks like Raided and Fun Dude are both working very well together, finishing off each other's kills. Yeah, I guess they've stopped trying to steal each other's kills and to protect each other's kills. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> anyways, it looks like we're uh, pushing them back quite effectively far using the payload. There is there is the, uh, the Dragon Strike, Dragon but it doesn't strike. do much. They push it on the left side. It doesn't look very effective. Lucio, there's a critical hit. Does there's Earth Shatter? That was a big shatter. That was a big shatter there. But looks like they're they're getting pushed. There's Out a come our Genji ult. Dragon Blade. Looks like we're trying to get trying to get behind. The Ryan does go down, and we do get our zoning all uh the uh... oh there's the uh, we do cancel know. the ult. Yeah, we do. I don't even remember what that was called. I think it's called Death Blossom, but we are Death getting Blossom. on the point. Look at them. They're trying desperately to get on the point to stop us. Hey, Pants does get two kills. Down goes their Hanzo. Their Ryan is desperately... Can they get onto it? Can we... Is our Raided gonna use Death Blossom to zone them out to make sure that they don't get on the point? There's the Lucio ult, so it's extra added heals, and there goes a... Now Raid has dragon. nothing standing in his way. There it is, there it is, but he does get taken down by Father John. He does get the Moira with it though, so it is a bit of a trade. Oh, I know. Our uh, Diva's been demeked. Just at the last moment too. We're gonna have to move back. Diva does get back in her ult. She does have her uh, I don't even know, I just call it Diva Nuke. Diva Nuke. I yeah, just call it Diva Nuke. Yeah. She's waiting for the right time to use Diva Nuke. There it is, the Diva Nuke. She does doesn't get any kills, damage. but it does zone him out a little bit. She does get revived. Can she get straight in her ult? She does get straight in her ult or mech. There it goes. She's Reaper ult does come out. But it does get taken down. Another Dragon Strike. It's crazy how fast he's getting those. Becca does fall off the map, but Ad Addison does pull the weight and he Addison, does kill three people. Team wipe. There it is. A minute left to their two minutes and 25 minutes left. So it is an advantage on uh, their home court. It is 3-3. Three, three. Let's hope that they can indeed get what uh, they achieved. Time remaining for us is one minute. That their, uh, their, uh, their push strat at the, back, uh, at the back ends towards the end was really effective there. Indeed, it it was. I believe that there was some very strong performances from our D, DPS. Oh. Becca did seem to have a bit of problems because she did fall off the map. But I mean, it happens we'll to see. the best of us. I just like to say that um, <clears throat> Pandu needs to go see a uh, you know a therapist or maybe a, a massage to get his back you know his back uh, realigned after that hard carry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> his back must really be hurting. Yeah. Oh, we got a Skittles in the chat for your earlier question. Oh, cool. I, I like I like Skittles. Like, 
usually I, I think I'd probably pick M and M's in this situation, but Skittles are also pretty good. Yeah, I mean, oh no, uh, I had a friend once who uh, pranked me because he knows I like Skittles a lot, and he put M and M's in a bowl of Skittles, so I bit on one because I, I just eat them like by the handful or something, and I bit into chocolate and like and like a bunch of fruity blasts and stuff like that, and I was like, well, was... critical hit does switch to Diva. Looks like they're going for the dive. She's going for multiple sucks. Suck, suck, suck. Get her go. She's doing a lot of poke damaging. She's just trying to, you know, charge up her ult as fast as possible. She does suck the, uh, he does suck the dragon strike. Pun dude is in the back. She, now it's the zoning. They're just trying to push him off the point as fast as possible because they know they need to dive straight that point just so they can. I believe we should spectate. Let's say we spectate M the man. Let's go spectate our uh, captain. And the man does get a clutch heal there, making sure. Rated does getting healed here. She, she And she does get her ult that quick. In less than 30 seconds, a minute of the match. Contested on the point. We need every last person on that point. And she's there is boosting. so much healing. So much healing and so much damage being boosted and dent out. There is coalescence on the enemy team. Puntu does go down. There are so it's many ults. Death Blossom. It's just straight out zoning, and the man has to get on the point. Over time, is this map for them? It looks like Menominee got the map, and that puts us 1-1. One, one. Not yet. No, not yet. Menominee no, still has to attack. Yeah, Menominee still has to attack. Oh man, this might be really long. So they have to make it to 57.4%. Yeah, in two minutes, which is a huge advantage. They could even capture the point if they want to. There's a huge advantage for them. I'm afraid that all it comes down to is if they get one team wipe, I'm afraid it's all over. Yeah, if they get one team wipe, even a single team wipe, it's all over. Even if they lose one person, it's over because then they have a six over five advantage, and that's when it starts falling apart. It's it's all down to team composition. We have a Ryan and Sigma, so we are going double shield for defense. Oh, we do have a Bastion and a Torb. We have a this Bastion is going and to be. Torb. We're definitely gonna get some. Uh, oh, he's changing out. Pundu's changing out, and he's going junk rat. It's a junk rat. Another. This is the shield most breaker. beautiful. It's, yeah, it's a shield breaker comp. This this comp will, oh, looks like we're setting up far corner. This is the kind of position that makes, let's see, Sombra's kind of scared. Yeah. They'll go and try and get the bash and then junk rats right behind him and then they're dead. Yeah. Looks like they're setting up up here. I don't know if they're on the point at all. Are they on point? They don't need to be. Yeah, they don't. They're all just pocketed here. As long as they keep them in that choke point, they won't need to be on the point. Uh, maybe not because they've just point behind us. Oh, I'm using official. I'm using scrimmage V. I'm using the scrimmage overlay. Because this is what this is. Looks like we do push them back this round. Yeah, we do push them back this round, so that's it. A good, it knocks off a good maybe 50 seconds on that round. We do try and build up a few of our alts. Alts do be peeled. They do have a junk rat too, trying to take off our shields, which uh, is taken down, you know, just a bit. And there he goes. Bastion's going to pick off a lot of damage. There you go. Shield has gone down. Down goes the Ryan shield. And looks like uh, somebody was behind. It looks like a Reaper was behind us. He does get fast picked off by our... There you go. No one is interrupting the Bastion. Uh-oh. Team wipe. That's... Yeah, that's the match. I'm afraid this is that. To the end. Yeah, that's the end, and the map does go to Manami Falls, making us 1 1. And to answer my coach's question, I'm using a uh, scrimmage overlay. Uh, what if I change it to this? It's the same, honestly. But Pundu does get alt. Play of the game. And it was the hard carry at the end of this match. He needs his back realigned after this. Must be bent out of all shapes. 
I know I'm supposed to be rooting for the Eagles here, but I do believe that the enemy team did have some good plays throughout that match. Yeah. Like towards the end there, once their Junkrat and Reaper got behind us, I'm afraid it was all over. Uh, we are on uh, Assault, right? Um, I, I think I was Escort next. Yeah. One sec, let me go ask. Because we always do control points last. Escort next, questionable mark. For the uh, people that aren't from home team here and are watching the stream from Menominee, we w oh it looks like invited has been put in, so that was for neat. Mighty Pants. For Mighty Pants, let's go pull up his player card because invited, invited, invited. That is our player Dom. He plays a nasty run. Uh, yes, our score is still one one. Uh, this is Dominic, so I don't even know how to spell uh, Celeste. Celeste? He's our main tank. He plays Reinhardt, Zarya, and Hammond, the ball. And he does about 17,000 damage per 10 minutes. So, big pogs in that chat there for him. So, um, yeah, this is kind of awkward. Let's keep the chat going though. Um, another, let's do, let's do some, let's do some questioning. So, uh, guys, do you put, uh, pineapples on your pizza? Pineapples on the pizza? Can we get a, can we get a yes or no? No, pineapple. Why not? Why not, Nick Dor? Who, uh, I, I don't know who, who's on the, uh, case of now. Yes, why? Whoa, whoa. This is split down the middle. 50 50. Oh lord, is that a messed up Bob Ross? Pixelated Bob Ross it looks like. Yes, our next, our next match is going to be on Escort. Let me just pull up the rules for that right now. Uh, Escort is basically the second half of what we, uh, we witnessed in the last map. Escort is basically you start off moving a payload straight from the get-go and you try making three different points. If you reach each of the points, you get a point in the match. Per people with the most points at the end of the match wins. Um, it's great. <laughs> um, I'm back. Hey, hello. What, did you got open another pack of M&Ms? I heard you're struggling. Uh, no. Yikes. I just had to go to the bathroom real quick. Uh. Uh, it does look like uh, one of our one of the enemy people are having a hardware problems. Is I it... guess while we're here, yeah, we that are... merch. Yeah, uh, actually, the merch isn't being sold anymore, so we could, we could go into more into. Oh depth. yeah, uh, we could go more into depth with uh, our map choices. Uh, what do you think would be the best choice for um for a map on our on our players? Well, it looks like we're going to be playing Rialto. So if we're talking comp. Uh, yeah, we're talking Rialto. So I say if we were going to pick an ideal comp to take advantage of the environment short after we spawn, it'd probably be going good to do um, Pulled the, Port, the, the, a.k.a. Arisa Hog. With a Lucio port? on a... That yeah, that's what people that call that it. That's what it's called? And then, a, mm -hmm. and then you put um, a Lucio on the side to, you know... Get all those boops and pulls off, so you can yeah. pick up as many uh, as possible. Yeah, we are attacking this round. They are defending. The match seems to be starting on Rialto. Let me just switch that good one. Pulled pork sandwiches, best type of sandwiches. Fight me. Uh, actually, it's breaded steak sandwiches. If you've never had that, breaded steak sandwich is the best. I'm sorry, I'm, I am going to fight you on that. Look at we get some perfect view of like some really hot, you know, boats. Real boats. Yeah, boats. <laughs> That's some great 18, 17 seconds of boats. Anyways, with Rialto, I think uh yeah, pulled pork, maybe Lucio for boops. 
I think also a Pharah would also work here to yeah, so she also has that bit of ability. But subs exist. Yeah, subs do exist. You got multiple array, you got meatball sub, you got crazy types of sub. I usually just get a meatball sub. Or um I think it's I think it's Jimmy John's. I Wait think it's called like a slim gym. It's just like ham, cheese, and um, mayo. Uh, like that's it. I think they messed up the streamer things. We're uh, we're sh we're viewing the opposition. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh no. Wait. Uh, one sec. A little technical difficulties. Um. Uh, um. Can I? I can't expect it. Can I? Uh oh. You have to have one of them invite us. Oh lord. Um. Who's who's not in, who's not in the queue? Can you tell me who's not in the? Diego. Diego? Di no, Diego's in the menu. Oh, he is. Oh crap. Yeah. Uh, I need I need to add someone. Who isn't on the roster right now? If you could find out, like, uh, who isn't playing? Um. Uh, Nathan. Uh, Mighty Pants isn't right. We got switched out. Mighty, yeah, Mighty Pants is not. Well, actually, no, Mighty Pants is playing. Um. Is it Nathan? So. Nathan. Who is Nathan again? Uh, he is, um, critical hit. Uh, no, he's he's in. I'm just gonna do, uh, varsity. Becca isn't in. Becca? Yeah. Alright, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh,. You do get a pick on our Genji. For those who cannot see the game, don't worry. I'll I'll try and commentate for you guys. Why would you rip it? We do get a res on our Genji, and we do start to pick apart their backline. We do pick our Winston. Yes. I know you guys can't see, so it's weird, but I'm I'm just trying to give you guys a little basic. Oh no! I got I, they got to invite me. Oh lord. Well, I uh uh um um. Let's go to the score here. I need an invite. I'm just gonna spam them. I need the invite. Wait. V. V, if you could hear me. Oh, great. Oh, great coach. Invite me. Don't even have you added. No, I don't have you added. We are kind of stuck at a choke point right now. Oh, wait. I could just request um, to invite to group. We are at a complete um, dive comp. We do have. Winston and our Winston and our Reaper and Genji flanking. We also get a pick on their Ash and their Zarya. A bit, of, a bit problem. A bit problem. I they do get a res on their Ash, but at the cost of their Lucio. Oh, I need an invite to group. We also shut down their Bob. Oh, they have a bomb. Uh-oh. This is so sad. I'm not... We did use our Diva Nuke, and it did not really do much. But we do get a pick on the Reaper who did Death Blossom the Baby Diva. Yeah. Do they have no... Ash does get cornered from the Reaper, the Winston, and the Genji, and does get taken down. And it looks like we are going to capture the first point. Sorry again for the, uh, the technical difficulties. I don't know what's going on. No, I need an invite. So, since, you know, we're spectating the enemy team a little bit, I'm going to talk about a bit, um, Father John. He is, um, oh, well, he's illegal. their Ash. That's illegal. We don't do that here. Exactly. Well, I'm afraid that I'm stuck spectating the enemies. But, anyway, Father John, their Ash. He is very good. He has been able to get some picks. And also, their Reaper has also been able to get a whole lot of picks as well. Hey, is uh, Nathan on their team? Just tab, press tab, and then you could, I think you can see their names. Oh, it looks like Addis and Pundu does go out again, and he does get a kill with his Dragon Blade. Yikes, this is so sad, I don't know. I need a vibe. The... I also forgot to mention their Mercy, who is also very good. I would say she rivals M, but M's just that little bit better. We do get a Diva Nuke that gets a double kill, though. <laughs> this is so sad for the. I know I'm switching sides, but like, this uh, looks like we do get a team wipe here, and we are going to get the second point. 
GEC, I'm super sorry. Um, I'm sorry if you guys, you have to watch 18 people that are watching. You, you have to spectate. Uh. Their tank, Crook don't Crook done. Does switch to Sigma. We do get a pick on there, Bob. But I don't know. We might get traded. Yeah. Oh, at Pundu does go around. He does get the Lucio and the Sigma. He also gets the Ash. But they do get Pundu in the end. Yeah. Um. Uh. It looks like we are expecting the enemy team. So the people who did join our stream from Anomaly Falls, you will get what you wish. We are going to be expecting uh. Devian, Devian, is that how I pronounce it? Please put a yes or no. If not, like, come on. Oh, uh, Devi, Devi huge, Devian, Devian huge, Devian huge. Yeah, they want us to spectate that absolute player. He has been doing well this round. That is true. Yeah. Okay, Besides for their team getting out of part because Addison could not get out of their back line. Sorry, um, pun dude. Oh. Oh, they can't accept the in custom game? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, um. Looks like Case is going to be defending this round. Are you sure I was not good? Oh. oh, okay, now I'm able to spectate Case. Oh. I think it was just whoever's defending we got we have to spectate. Oh that's 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 just sad. Wait. I know, it's weird, but whatever. Okay, this is really weird. It does look like we are not going with what I recommended too much. We do have a hog, but we don't really have that no Lucio. Pork no pork chops. Oh, well, we have we have the pork, but we don't have the the pull of the pork. We don't have the chops. Okay. We do have a junk, so he will be able to boop. And he does have that, you know, zoning. Okay. Uh, we might be back in a couple of seconds. Uh, how long are we into the game? <laughs> I don't know how long we're into the game, but uh, sorry again for your viewers. You were allowed to oh, spectate, but if you only pledge loyalty to Menominee Falls forever, I can't pledge loyalty. I'm so sorry. I pledged my loyalty with, uh, with, uh, I pledged my loyalty with Case. I'm so sorry, guys. I play for them. I'm the streamer for them. They gave me my job. So they gave me. And yeah, they gave us a job. Uh, uh, I, uh, uh, oh, Lord. We do have them oh, no. tracked in the choke point. Uh, I, they can't. Oh no! Oh lord! They ha they have to. M would have to put me back in the match. They'd have to put me back in the match because they can't. Um, they can't put me while they're playing in. It's unfortunate. Oh no! I'm so sorry. Wait, are you still out of the game? Yeah, they can't invite me back in. Yeah, I got you. You, you, you Wait, unable to invite players. Yeah, to your you're in the game. Right yeah, you're in the game. You'd have to leave the game and then, but you can't join back. Well, actually, you're in the group, right? You're in a group. Uh, no, not if I know. Well, maybe. Yeah, you're with a you're with invited uh, Dom and. I tried Steve. inviting you, but it said cannot invite. They might be in competitive play. Oh, why is it? You get a triple kill. It says you're in a comp. I'm not in a comp play. I can show my screen. This is so. No, that we might be in comp play. Yeah. They don't want the spectators. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Um, for the I I know I apologize to everyone who's watching. We're still trying to figure everything out. I'm gonna hey, keep commentating. Why you we do on? get a team wipe on them. We do keep them back. We are. They have been able to push the payload just beyond the bridge, but we are getting flanked. Yeah, this is really sad. I'm super sad now.
The Several ultimates do come out, but it looks like on our end, we will be the ones coming out on top here. Have we kept three points? Maybe I'm just going to tell you the team comps. For the enemy team, they have a Lucio, a Zarya, an Echo, a Soldier, a Moira, and a Reinhardt. And on our team, we have a Ryan, an Ash, a Junkrat, a Zarya, a Baptiste, and a Mercy. Oh, that's great to hear. Again, apologies for uh, this very terrible, terrible thing that's happened to me. The enemy grab does come out, and so does the shatter, but it does look like we are going to lose this fight if we are not if we are not careful. Yeah. Our junk, our, our junk tire is destroyed, and so is our junk. The enemy soldier alt does come out. Yeah. One dude, our Ash, does get himself killed somehow. Oh no. Most likely his dynamite. Yikes. So. I'd say they are about two thirds of the way to the first point. We are still in the middle of a team fight. Our grav does come out. They do get a pick on our junk rat. They do get a pick on their Lucio and their Moira and their Ryan instead. They do lose our Ryan and our, but they lose their soldier at Ash, and it looks like it's game over. It is a win for the Case Eagles. Well, round one win. Nope. Oh, no, it's a they... win? Yeah, because we, we just oh, defended that round. Yeah. I, for, I forgot, I forgot. Bundy does get play of the game. Okay. Well, let me just get prepared for, uh, you know, for a re-invite. So Monona Falls, they did have some good plays here. I'm not going to lie. Well, they may have lost. They did put up a good fight. Well, it's, a, it's still 2-1. They have one more. Uh, it's first to three. I know. Yeah. But I'm saying in this round they did actually do really well. Case or Monami? <laughs> Monami. Case did win, but Monami did also do very well. Uh, let's, let's, let me go contact their captain, uh, the owner of the game, if I could get a, uh... No, here, I got it. Quit Overwatch and then come back. Okay, yeah, um, can you invite me back? Me? Yeah. Cause you're, um... The game is done, right? Um, I'll see if I can invite you. If, if um... If not, then I'll... Invite you to spectator. Unable to invite player to custom game, they may be in competitive play. Alright, well, I'm going to exit the game. I'm going to relaunch. Launcher. Uh, it just says I'm still playing it, which is probably... Okay, we're going back in. It says you're in comp play. Yes, I have uh, restarted my game. Okay, what's what's the next map? Is it a uh, assault? Um, yes, we are going to assault, and it is going to be Hanamura. For those who um don't really know what assault is, people also call it two CP. Basically, the attacking team tries to make it through the defending team. They capture one point, which then gives them time, and they start moving towards the second point. The thing is, with the first point, the defender's spawn is actually very far away. And with the um, second point, the defender's spawn stays the same, and the point is actually like right outside their spawn. And the attackers actually have the very long spawn, but they do have an adjusted spawn, spawn place. So they are a bit closer, but it's still a good distance. Yep. Um, they, we're going Hanamura, right? 
All right, well, uh, Hanamura is a good map because uh, they do have this choke point with a secondary window for the uh, for the first choke point. They do have a, a easy to spot, an easy uh, uh, easy access. Okay. I've been in okay here. Yeah, I've been in unable to fight player. They may be in competitive play. No, I'm in. What? I'm in. No worries. No worries. Oh, you're in. Okay. Yeah, I'm in. No worries. Okay. Yeah, no worries. I'm in. I'm in. Just not realized I'm almost as high as the level is B. <laughs> I'm still 13. Man, you gotta start grinding. Yeah, I haven't been playing a lot, you know. Been busy. School's a real hassle. School's easy. What are we on? Second game. It's 2 1. We're up. Yep, 2 1. Case Cases going forward. Cases advantage. It's 2 1, guys. When I meet myself real quick, I'll uh, be right back. Just, you know, keep them entertained. Alright, guys. So, uh, I want to see some, uh, dude, I hate feedback. Friendly feedback. Commentation is better without pronouns. No, our, we are there. Case falls, etc. Makes listening so much better. Okay, thank you. Thank you, man. Manamo ni falls. It's not manemone, right? Manamone. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Trailblazer. Yeah, I shall be using Case of Menomini instead of our and we because, you know, I'm not. Oh, the match is starting! Uh oh, looking for game capture. Okay, phew. That was scary. We are on Hanum. Oh, <laughs> I got myself. Case is, uh, the battle. I don't even know. The match. The map is Hanamura. I believe Case is defending. I'm back. Hello. I believe Case is attacking and Menominee is defending. Unless I read that wrong. Hopefully I read that right. I believe we're attacking. Yeah, I think we're attacking. No, not we. We have to stop using pronouns. It's illegal. Case is attacking. Case is attacking. Apologies. Yeah. We're kind of new to this. This is like maybe our third or fourth stream, okay? I'd Thank say you for the feedback. together, I'd say this is our second. Yeah, together, together, second. You're not gonna be here tomorrow, are you? Um, well, it's a technically, I'm gonna be here, but I might not, cause I have to run up to Madison and drop off my dog. Oh. To my grandma. Cool. You got a personal life going on here. <laughs> yeah. You know, I just gotta put a little bit of that real in chat. I mean, in the stream. Oh, thank you, Robo, for forgiving us. All right, let's go. Looks like Fun Dude is going to go as Doomfist. And uh, Teledive, it looks like. Looks like we have mm -hmm. not Teledive. It's not a comp. But they do have... They, uh, Menominee does set up on multiple points. Our Rated is trying to get a teleporter in. Does he get the teleporter in? That's in. Trying to go from the behind. You do go behind them. I mean, Case. <laughs> Sorry. Case goes behind, but Menominee... Fun Dude is taking out. Manami's Hanzo or Manami's Hanzo does take out Case's uh, Doomfist here. Case Case's Ryan does take down Manami's Father John Hanzo. Case does put Manami on a wild goose chase. Okay. Uh, Manami is 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 taking a bit of stress, but uh, from previous 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 matches, they've. Uh, They've seen a lot of, uh, you know, comebacks in the stress, you know, they've, uh, they've identified the stress and they've decided to destroy the stress, which, uh, that would be case. They've just, Manami does destroy us at times. Capture the point straight off the bat with five, almost six minutes remaining. Father John does go for a risk again. It was a well played, well played, but, uh, not quite executed very well. It looks like we're... Father John does try and also, you know, try and stop us. He just put up a valiant effort. And there we go. We dive straight onto hey. the point. Menominee does. Case. Or nah, case, case, yes, case. We say case these days. Case does have sim all, and then does go down, zoning half the team. There goes Menominee's dragon Menominee's strike. Case does get their bomb out, and it does get the Zarya. Menominee's death blossom also comes out. Menominee's Lucio. And the sound barrier. The beat. Looks like, uh, Looks like Menominee... Case is going to have to retreat here. Menominee does deal with the stress very well and pushes us back with um, 
Push his case back. 0% captured. And Father John does get a pink off on the cases raided. One dude is playing the patient game here. He's just, he's just, he's, he's messing around. You see, you see him. He's putting down the chibis. You know, look at him. He's doing some parkour. You know, Doomfist parkour is really pawned. Yeah. Doom rollouts can be very strong, considering if you get that big seismic slam off and you can do 125 damage to multiple people. Yeah. That's a big moi moment. That is a big moi moment. Follow it up with a, you know, uppercut. Looks like Mon Mononomy's Reaper is going behind us. Oh, the bubble okay. saved him. There's the, another punch, but it does, doesn't... Not enemies, Earth Shadow does come out, and they do get M, but we do get their Ryan in return. Sorry, Mononomy's Ryan. Would you say that was a fair trade? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't... There's a Death Blossom, and Nominee does take down our... Mononomy's Death Blossom does come out and gets two. Oh, oh. Hunter's Thunder Day's getting... putting up a valiant effort, but I'm not sure if he's going to be able to take on the entire team. No, he takes down Father John, and then Cal Phoenix does take down both Money Pants and... Mighty Pants and Pun Dude. It's crazy. Cal Phoenix is having some pretty good plays tonight. He is indeed. I have to keep my voice down. My baby brother's going to sleep. Ah. Yeah. I'm just going to be. For any Monotomy down. lovers in chat, feel free, to, feel free to tell us who your favorite um, Monotomy player is. Yeah, it seems that they like Devin a lot. Devian? Dev I don't know. He has been playing. Uh, also has had some very interesting performances yeah. tonight. He has popped off quite a bit. Uh, I've seen him play a lot of Reaper lately, so um, yeah. Uh, stick tuned. Stick tuned to after match because we are interviewing uh, Menominee's captain and one of their players. Big Two ult there. Big ult. Big ult. That was a big ult there, and we switched to M the man. There you go. We popping them. Like the There's the beat. It goes down beat, Lucio beat, or we're all just, oh, there's the kill. Monami does put up an effort, but... Trying to get on point. Lil' Gates could have made, couldn't make a it. A lot of pressure. And there goes the grab. grab. And there goes Reaper. Reaper. Coalescence goes down. Oh, he's Coalescence don't go out. There's, let's go spectate someone invited here. He's absolutely messing around here. Look at him go. And there's Death Blossom. He's blocking a lot Monami of it. Reaper all does come out. He does get shut down, but we do lose our support. Case loses Sorry, case our support. support. Yeah, case I know. Loses support. Remember, we keep correcting each other. <laughs> hey, we're new to this. Don't don't hold it. Don't hold it against yeah. us. Oh. But thanks for the feedback, Fire Strength. It's appreciated. We love you a lot. We as me and Bryce, not Case. I mean, I don't know what. Yeah. Well, we can, I mean, we don't. Are we? Rep yeah, we're represented as a Case. I mean, like Case does love yeah, we're technically representing Case, but. But, but I think we can we're call feed the feed and our names instead of, you know, oh, obviously. having to say case. I mean, that would be awesome. Wisa hit us up if you want to, if you want to cast her for all your matches, except I would actually like payment because, uh, <laughs> oh, big ult by Raided, and Pundu gets a dive. Raided. Two DPS ults there. There's the dive. Critical hit is going for dives. Kyle Phoenix is Kyle holding Phoenix him, but he does not make it. And that's point with a minute and 19, almost 20 seconds left. That is two points. That's right. Very one strong point. effort. Let's from Mononomy, but it just doesn't hold up. Let's see how Mononomy fares well on the attacking side. Let's hope that uh, they do they do get a pog play here, you know, get some amazing plays tied up. I have to wonder, will we see Devin Huge play something Other than a bit Reaper. different? He has some had some very strong performances on Reaper, but I'd like to see what else he plays. Yeah. Manami did take advantage of some of our flanks, you know, uh, Pun Dude, uh, Case's Pun Dude was definitely cornered there, and they did take advantage of his, uh, you know, his uh, sol uh, solitary case. Pun Dude does change to Hanzo. Let's look at our team composition. We have a basically kept it the same except uh, no Moria. We have a Baptiste, and we have a uh, Pun Dude as um, Hanzo instead of what he was playing before, which I believe it was McCree. And Genji, or it was McCree. No. Well, he started as Genji, and then he switched to McCree. He started as Genji, switched to McCree, yeah. Looks like we are setting up here. He's just messing around here, look at him go. Uh, 
I don't know. Looks what... like Evan is going to be playing Reaper again, it seems. I don't know. We don't we don't see anybody. I don't see anybody, sadly. Let's see our first Dude, did do a uh, Sonic arrow and I did see. We do get a nice pick on that Lucio. Yeah, Lucio goes uh oh. Case, Case get a nice pick gets a nice pick on that Lucio. Case gets a nice pick and Case is now locked into Furious Hanzo battle with Menominee's Hanzo. Let's switch it up. Let's go uh, to Roadhog critical hit. He's just having a small action. Oh, that was a perfect setup there. Junkrat spike, uh, Junkrat bear trap, and the hook and followed up with the lane. He does get a, a great pick off of Father John Manami. Mori does wisp out there. Mori does get picked out of all. Down goes Manami. Mara. Yes, critical hit does get there. Both the tanks are trying to tank as much damage. That was a missed hook. Out comes Case's junk tire. Cal Phoenix does go does die somehow. Ooh, that was a that was a major hit Snipe. off critical hit. It was a great prediction. That was honestly that. It was just an unlucky shot. By Menominee. Menominee had an unlucky shot there. Let's go spectate somewhere else. Mighty pants. Oh, it looks like Devin does switch to soldier. He's going soldier, yeah. That's a that's great to see. Let's see how well they push against our, uh, our, our Case's now they competition. Have two, shield burners. two shield burners, that's definitely. How uh, comes Case to shatter? It doesn't. It gets blocked by the and shield. Coalescence. Manos, coalescence and there does it is. Come out. Menominee does take advantage of all our disarray. They go straight to point. Is that a team wipe? Is that a team wipe? No. Pun dude is in the back. He survives with M the man. And it does it and looks like they do like cap. Nami does get that point. They had a very strong play that time. They do cap point very quick. It was a very strong play. Uh, kudos to Manamini for pulling that one off. It, it was good that they switched to soldiers, so they had a lot more you know damage. Pundu's desperately looking for I where they are. Come in clutch with all that damage that was going through the shields. It could not be blocked. Yeah, it's very clutch and all that stuff. The, and there goes Fire Strike case, Cases Grav. Oh, Ooh. Lots of Manami alts. Yeah, Manami Grav, Grav and Fire Strike goes out. And Dragon Strike, you mean? Yeah, and Dragon Strike. Oh, out comes a Team Wipe from Manami. Team Wipe on Manami. Cases taken Bro, down. No. Can they cap the point this quick? Can they cap it? Looks like Pandu does switch to Doomfist. And critical but hit he goes not for. Hold up against Manami's assault. Are they gonna see nine? Is it seems look how fast they're you know critical hit is just doing some some boop damage there. He's just trying to get him off point or do as much damage. If he stay on the point though, it looks Can like we are having some rough times. He does. He Monomony does is get taken down. Destroying us. Monomony, kudos! Oh my gosh, you guys are destroying case. Uh, uh, case. Looks like we got main. The coalescence goes down. Can they? There's looks the ice like shield. Case does not going to make it. Case does not make it. A full maybe. A minute and thirty seconds, or two minutes and thirty seconds above us. That's a big. It's big. That's big for uh, Menominee to have that. Could they pull it out of the bag? It is a two-one. Am I correct, Bryce? Uh, yes. Currently, it is. And depending on who wins this, if we win this round, it is the end of the okay, match. We go to a game. And then, but if Menominee wins this, then we will go to a rubber match, which will once again be two CP. Who follows? I'm going to be over here. So. Thank you so much for Eric Nelson to follow. Road Pog, yeah, Demi Pog, Un Re Un Pseudo Do Do Pog. I don't even know what that means. Pog Mickey, Pog Mickey. Thank you for the follow. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. You're absolutely help help help. help, help, help. I don't know what I'm saying. Don't know how to speak anymore. Pun dude is just shaking his head. No, maybe they're talking about some team crazy team comps. Maybe uh uh I don't know. No. It's just in. Mighty Pants is playing a support. Mighty Pants is playing support? Oh, I forgot she was playing Zen. She's playing Zen. It looks like we're once again going for the Symmetra comp. Yeah. Symmetra to go straight on. Let's, let's do Mighty Pants because, uh, you know, Zen is an absolute DPS. A DPS hit scan here mixed in with a bit of healing and de healing. You know? Oh. That was straight. 
There goes the orb of discord for case onto uh, I don't even know who they created the teleport They're straight on the point now. They're gonna push them off the thing They're trying to keep them off point as fast as possible those turrets are absolutely zoned them out there mighty pants does take down uh, Menominee's crunk dude and and Father John and a oh man, this is team. Man, we did try and put up a defense, but it cannot hold. Yeah, it can hold. They capture the point right off that bat. The teledive was perfect for Case. They definitely needed, definitely needed another minute, hopefully to get on the point. Fun dude has reached sixty nine percent for result. Nice. <laughs> Wait, who? Oh. Fun dude. Yeah, he's seventy percent on his ult, and uh, Genji is definitely his main. So, as we've seen time and time again, that Dragon Blade on Pundude is absolutely a crazy, crazy matter. So, for those who haven't um, tuned in before, if you want to know how much Pundude has played Genji, he has 167 hours on Genji. That's on. This is that, his alt account too. Yeah, this is like his. This isn't even like his main account. There's the there's and the Dragon account. Blade. There's the Dragon Blade, triple quadruple pill. Can he get another kill? He does get another kill. Do they cap that point that fast? It was a team wipe there. Can they do it? And they've done it against all odds. Five seconds left on the clock. Five seconds that they got four points. That was crazy right there. Absolute crazy play by Case. Let's see if Menominee could match it up. I'm pretty sure they can. It's been proven an uphill battle for Case. Or maybe an equal? This is just an equal tug of war. I don't even uh, uphill. Both both of them are going know. uphill. I don't know. Economy has a whole lot more time than Case did. Yeah, that is true. Case only has five points. I think if um if Menominee if they gets, get all uh, if Menominee oh. Oh, 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 you you go you go you go. Um, what I was gonna say was um I think if Menominee gets to number if they also get to four then I think it ends in a draw, which means you will if. That means no. that we're going to be doing this a lot more. No, uh, it would end in who has more time, which definitely would be Menominee. If, if unless, they, unless, unless it goes uh, into overtime. overtime. Unless it goes into overtime, in which case would win, because we do have, or a case does have 5.2 seconds. What, I don't know, I thought it was, I thought it was going to be a draw, well I guess we'll have to see. Hey chat, if you're smart, um, chat, if you, if you know, if you're smarter than us and this, um, you uh you help us out here who would win if they both get four points would it go into over overtime no i think it would just end in a draw and then we'd have to you know get another match Pundu which i'm not complaining it's very fun watching these teams go up against each other yeah it is let's see what pundit's doing pundit's just playing sneaky he's a ninja that's his main it's his main there you go straight on straight on it look at them starts getting some damage on the hanzo he doesn't get the kill, but he does scare him a little bit. He's Punt dude can't really mess uh mess them up a bit, so uh let's go to Raided. He's uh, he's going junk rat, which is definitely Oh Father John does Oh Father John Oh Father John does get taken down, I'm pretty sure by a stray stray uh, Looks like Chase is holding them here at the choke point. It's what they need because uh, if they do capture the other point, then uh, it gives them an extra minute or so in which that's Raiden not... is going for ricochets as you can see. He's bouncing it off that wall. He's getting some good damage in too. Yeah. As you can see. They just have to watch out. There goes uh, M the Man's Valkyrie ult. Case does get the Valkyrie. There you go. Does have... Roadhog and there's the grab. How come Anonymous grab? Cases, oh, one of cases, two of cases also do come out. We're back but to Which does not you. match the damage from Anonymy. Anonymy's pushing up and straying us out. Pundu does get Dragon Blade. Like Anonymy on. shredding us. Only two survivors left M the Man and Pundu. And Pundu. Not goes M the Man. It doesn't look like Pundu's gonna use it and he does get taken down. Quite the sad and it looks like Monami is going to get the point. Monami does get the point with uh, about three minutes remaining after what they uh, after they capture point. Just about, yeah, no, two minutes and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. That's it. I say it's a good amount of time. Yeah, it's a good amount of time for Monami. Monami does have the time advantage on case. 
Nami is getting a bit of that poke damage in from that Mario Ball. Yeah. How come there goes Dragon, Dragon strike? strike, but uh, it looks like they've tanked it. Oh, there goes Hul Hong from Critical Hit. He does get he does go down without much effectiveness. Oh, Pundude is popping off. Pundude, he gets one. Can he get two? He gets two. Al Phoenix does try and get him, but he's not able to finish him off. Yeah, and they pulled him off for the, the 30 seconds being. So it'll take him probably another 10 or 20 seconds for them to come back. So they have to regroup. Wow, he's in oh, looks like they're already back. Let's go spectate. I'm rated to see how he's expecting this. Most of Mononymy's um, team has some sort of movement ability, and even if they didn't, they do have that Lucio to keep getting them back faster. Yeah. So we do have to take that into account. Mononymy's Lucio does get found alone behind, and he does get picked off. Pun dude is going from the behind. He's trying to get the healers off straight away. Almost gets the Moira. And goes down to Father John. Kanto does get him. And let's go launch some Mighty Pants. Here, she's been playing quite a bit of healing here. Just hoping to get some. 60 seconds remaining, and so far, no percentage on points. So, Case has. How been comes doing... another Dragon Strike and Grav? How comes Dragon Strike and Grav? So, and she does go down to Father John's Dragon Strike. There's three on the point. Earth Shatter might come on down. There's Earth Shatter. That was it. Was high noon? Is this a high noon I hear? No. She has to keep... No. They, they all go down. Looks like Monami is going to get this. Maybe. I don't know. Or spawn is... Or cases spawn is so far... Or close that, the, you know, if they keep spreading it out. It's 5 Invited to 2 now. Bring out a shatter. There's the earth shatter. It's, uh, and there they goes are able Lucio to the attack. Lucio beat. Can they get back? No, they cannot. Tracer is coming in. Tracer does call in. She's just a, doing a bit of poke damage here. She doesn't even. Ooh. Oh, down she goes. Down she does go. Three seconds and Case does take the map and thus the game. GG's to Menominee. Menominee did have some really good plays there. Menominee did have good plays. But, um, Rated does get play of the game. Case does get another play of the game. Let's see how this goes. That was a triple kill there. Let's see, they just went straight off of the point, so... It was a triple kill that allowed them to get on that point. That was an amazing match there. Good, uh, GG. I was not Pog. No worries, Beep Bump Boop. We still love you the same. Now, quickly, before we start doing the, uh, interviews, I did want to point out we did not get to see Dr. Lunatic, a.k.a. Diego. He's one of our tanks. We did not get to see him in action today. Yeah, we did not. That's, that's unfortunate, but, um, it was still, still, uh, actually, um, Bryce, Bryce, but, uh, he's, in our, he, he's in our chat. He's just helping us. He's oh, in yeah. Our... <laughs> oh, we didn't get to see him, you know, play. <laughs> yeah, still, no, no, uh, no, so, um, let's see if we could pull in... See if we could go pull in uh, a person. Um, uh, that was a great game. In the meantime, guess what I got, guys? I got boxes. Got loot boxes. Let's do uh, let's do some openings. Wish me luck. Oh, we got a purple. <laughs> we got a, a voice line. This is this is oh highlight intro. Oh, that's menacing. Oh, I like that one. V, we still got a one interview. Is like the top one. We still got interviews. V, no worries. Yeah, interview time. So, um, for uh, this is a new. Oh, I'm entering a game. What? We we doing next one? What's going on? Yeah, I'm... I guess it's just our team. I don't know. No. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's let's hope we get. Yeah, let's uh let's see if we could get end the man in an interview. Actually, you know, you know, Bryce, Bryce, we're gonna we're gonna do um we're gonna do Menominee's interviews first. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do. Wanna that. head there? Yeah, we're heading here. Hello. Okay, we're, I'm here. We'll oh, have wow. to wait on 
two Manami players. Yeah, we're gonna wait on Father Jack and uh, the Crucked one, and Crucked Dunn does come here. Welcome, Crucked Dunn. We're just waiting hello? on. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. 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 Oh, and Father Jack is muted. It's like <laughs> Father Jack. You love to see it. Yeah, love to see <laughs> I'm just trying to mute so you don't get like background audio from the people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're watching the stream. That's great. It's great to hear. Um, so let me just quickly pull up our latest and newest interview overlay on our stream. Bryce Ooh, fancy, fancy. I know, right? This is awesome. We had a, one of our. All right, so I'd like to ask you a few questions. A few questions before um, you guys. GG, boy. Oh. oh. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I could not hear you for one moment. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, tell me when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. We're we're good. All right, all right, all right. So, um, um, so um, you had a bunch of map picks. Um, tell me, uh, tell me your strategy on uh, on each map. Uh, I saw you chose Hanamura. What was the what was the strat on that? Uh, basically, our best strategy right now is uh, brawl. So we tried to pick a lot of maps where we could get away playing uh, Ryan Zarya. And so, like, Hanamura was an example of that, with that choke at the beginning. All right. Yeah, uh, besides when you run Sim, and then uh, it makes it a little, uh, <laughs> yeah. little difficult. Case did run Sim. That was a that was a big teleport that they've gotten on the, the, the last the last round. There. It was really quick that they've gotten in on that point. What was your initial response to that? Uh, we just tried to collapse back on point, and, like, by that time, I think we were already so disorganized that they just kind of stomped through us and that's why they were able to cap first point yeah okay um what about king's row you guys uh at the last map uh last last control point uh they went a uh, bastion bunker bastion bunker what was your initial response when you uh found out they were uh case was bunkering down so our <laughs> so our initial response was um we tried to put a little poke damage, but we tried to just Lucio speed through the side room, uh, um, through the bottom there, so that he wouldn't be able to get us. And then we just hugged the wall, forcing them to jump down, then we could brawl them from there. Okay. Quick intervening question. Um, so I saw a lot of Devin Huge. He was playing a whole lot of Reaper. Was there a strategy behind that, or is that just who he plays a lot? Uh, I mean, it's his most comfortable character, and uh, Reaper does really well with Brawl uh, in close quarter situations. He's true, really true. able to uh, pop off. So that's why we had him on that a ton. Yeah, he actually did really well. I also think he did really well on Soldier, which, you know. Yeah, yeah that I... Soldier pop is kind of crazy, so we're uh, using that to our full advantage. Yeah, uh, at, okay. the end of, at the end of the match, Reaper was not playing uh, at all well, and uh, and... And uh, when he made the switch to uh, Soldier, it was uh, in it really intense there. You guys pulled through that point and uh, capped first point. Yeah. What was, what was your initial response when you uh, were so close to capping the last final point, but uh, you know on Hanamura and then you know got uh, got uh, pushed back by a uh, case. Um. So we were just trying to keep control at that point, um, and we. We were kind of mucking up the comms a little bit, and we were just trying to get things clear. But healing, healing was mainly focused on the tanks, so they picked off our, they focused our DPS really well, and yeah. from there it just all crumbled. Yeah, we kind of got TCP'd. That's kind of the thing with TCP is like you get on the point after a team wipe, and then they just kind of run out of the spawn room, and they yeah. stall for so long. Yeah, it's really hard to play against. Yeah, I have to say, as like you guys had a really good comp, you guys. Um, like a like a zoning DPS, so like May or something like that. Mind, uh, mind telling me a bit about that? Uh, I really dislike playing May. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm I'm just really bad with her. So like, I usually play hit scan. I was playing a yeah, ton of Hanzo that, yeah. uh, in the later half, You're just an to uh, get furious. some more like brawl DPS. On what's it's a lot easier to play close range with Hanzo than it is like with Ash and Widow. Yeah, reasonable, reasonable. So. Okay, Aiden, back to you. Um, well, well, um, let me ask you a question. Do you think your um your uh, hero picks was a, a strong composition? You say you were choosing brawl, but was it was it always the the greatest um the greatest pick for each of the maps that you played, like Rialto or something? Well, it's just what we're most comfortable with right now. Oh. I do not think brawl is currently in like the best spot. I feel like uh, there's definitely like better comps like uh. Dive, I think, is really, really strong right now. Yeah. Otherwise, Sigma Hog, I think, could still like see some play with like double sniper. 
it's just like it's really hard to execute and we're working on it and uh hopefully by regular season or if we play each other again we'll have it uh ready but i, I really do think dive is like probably meta yeah uh our viewers are saying to bring on devin yeah devin. yeah i don't even it. yeah i can grab devin for you oh, if you could grab devin that'd be great and just all right put devin on the mic all right all right um i'll be right back let's go quickly do something uh, just no uh yeah. hello i'm devin you're devin i was the reaper i don't know i was told you guys wanted me yeah wait you're wait you, you're in the same house? What? This is confusing. Oh, oh yeah, we're all, we're playing uh in the school, so we all like oh, just camped out and. In... Oh, you're playing the school. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Hi, Devin. Oh, yeah. You're playing the Reaper. That's great. Yeah, I'm kind of a one trick. Uh, so what was your initial responses? What were your initial responses to seeing some of uh some of uh the uh the pics of our of um the pics? Uh, I'm 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 fumbling now. Um. It's okay. Uh, the the case's picks basically. Yeah, okay. so Genji was definitely a a big like pain in our side. Like, I don't know, our, my Reaper wasn't doing too much against Genji, but it was good against the tanks. Like, I, there was a couple times where I would delete the Reinhardt, but uh, Genji he was always behind us taking out our backline, and that was a problem. And uh, we we had we went McCree for a little bit. That worked for a sec. And then, I don't know, the Genji just kind of swapped off and kind of saved us, even though he was, like, kind of destroying us. Uh, yeah, and... <laughs> that, is, uh, that is Case's pun, dude. He's played more than maybe a thousand hours on DPS. Yeah, I saw. That's one of his, yeah, alt, he was... that's one of his alt accounts, actually. It's funny, because uh, oh, okay. when I went into tryouts, uh, they were all asking him what account he was on. I was really confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, any questions... Uh, any questions? So, uh, any questions for us? You know, on Casey's side. Uh, I mean, are you guys just like playing from home then? Yeah, we're all playing from home. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I have a very jank setup right now. I can't really back up my chair because I think I'll unplug the Ethernet uh <laughs> cord from my computer. So I uh. What? Yeah. Uh, it's it's a little rough here at school. But, yeah. uh, I mean, otherwise it was good games. It's preseason, yeah. so, you know, we can always learn and adapt. You know, we're just thankful that we can, uh, do this during the preseason. It's not like regular season. Yeah. Regular so season, I'm pretty sure you will be back with a, a better idea of how our uh, play style is, and you'll definitely take the win back away from us. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you guys play very well. Um, thank you for coming out and uh, talking with us. Uh, thank you so much for your time, and your team was an exceptional team to play against. On yeah, thank you for having us. On the on the behalf of Case, thank you, uh, thank you for coming out and playing against us for the scrims, and you were an awesome team. And thank you. Yeah, you guys actually did really well. Thank you. Yeah, you, you did too. We learned a lot, and we're excited to learn from the like the match. And yeah, yeah I'm, I learned yeah, that it'll be a Genji one trick. So Genji, that, that... yeah, Genji one trick. <laughs> it did. I'm, I'm doing it now. Yeah. Got to follow suit. <laughs> Yeah, I'll follow suit, Genji's in the meta. All right, I'll see you guys. Uh, we are um, we are coming back tomorrow for a, a stream against Medford. So if you guys want to pop in oh. and uh, say Ooh. hi, that'd be great. Is that a JP? Uh, or... Pretty sure Varsity. Hey, Varsity, you guys got two matches like back to back, or? Yeah, but, hey, Captain. Yeah, we do that all the time. Captain, Captain, who's watching the stream, or a coach who's watching the team? Is it? It's Varsity, right? I yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Davey doesn't today. have any games anytime soon. Also, right. um, oh, quick question: okay. How do I sound? I had to change headsets. Oh, you sound fine. just fine. Yeah. Not okay. Bad. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Um, uh, yeah. I'll catch you guys later. It was a great talk okay. with you guys. Yeah, see you around. Thank you for having us. Yep. See ya. No worries. Thank you. For okay. So, I'm assuming we're still live, correct? Yeah, we are still live, and we are here with our uh, team captain of Case, Emily Hutchinson. She has played uh, she has played exceptionally well with support on the line. Lots of mercy, which she actually does really well on. Thank you. Yeah, she does. So, Emily, mind telling us, how, how long have you been playing mercy? Just curious. Um, a few years, maybe. Wow. I was a Pharaoh main for a while, but then, like, before roll queue and everyone's like, we need a healer, we need a healer, I was like, you know what, whatever, I'll just play Mercy. I understand that. And then there so, was, like, yeah. Jeff 
Jeff's holy light came down from above, like, this is who you like to play? Yeah, kind of. I was like, you know what, I'm actually kind of good at her. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to stay in mercy. And now look at me. Yeah. Yeah. Was a, a great debut by you guys. Uh, what was what was your initial response to uh, their um, their composition? I, uh, they talked to me about their brawl composition and how it was brawl. Okay. <laughs> What was the uh, initial response? To them playing Brawl? Yeah. Honestly, like, I was like, oh no. Uh, um, quick uh, quick inter interruption. We do have invited or Dominic in as interviews too. We could not get a Miguel, though he did pop off. Uh, hello, Miguel. Or not Miguel, Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Hello, Dominic. Okay. Um, um, awkward silence ensues. Uh, oh, hey. Yeah, very much though. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hello. Hey. Um, hello. Uh, I want you both to, uh, you know, talk about um, their some of their picks like uh, Hanamura, Rialto. Um, it was a lot, of, a lot of maps that you they were picked. A lot of maps. Uh, Kings Row too. Uh, how was your initial response to maybe Hanamura? Like, uh, what, what was your defense? Because you were, uh, you were def attacking first. Am I right? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so what was like the strategy there? Uh, to attack, it was just to sim dive onto, well, the first time it was to sim dive to the right room, go up the steps, and just jump behind them, basically, and it worked. Yeah, it was a, it so. was a great move there. You definitely got them disorganized, and the, the second one, the second one where you only had a, maybe a minute left, you just dived straight onto the point. You did very well in breaking up their, their compositions and all that. Yeah, that, uh, I don't know. It was just a quick decision to do it, and everyone just went with it. Yeah. We were like, this is the plan, let's do it kind of thing. Yeah, how was, uh, how was the, um, uh, so I saw that, uh, Mighty Pants, she was tanked for the uh, first half of the of the game, and then switched off to healer. I want to I wanna talk about what was the choice behind that. I wanted Michaela to play healer a little bit. Yeah. In case, like, if Cause I know she plays healer, and just in case, like if me and Luke are out, like in case of anything, and Becca was the only healer, we could switch her in if needed. Yeah. So All we right. don't have like we're down, you know. You're down a healer, yeah. Mhm. Mm so, so, Emily, I have to ask. Um. Quick. Um. God, I'm stuttering. Um. Uh, uh. Anyway, so. How do you think um, the DPS and tanks did tonight? I know you supports actually did really well, but what do you think of the DPS and tanks performance so far? On um, Casey's team, yeah. I thought we did well. Like, there's still stuff we can definitely work on, especially focusing. Like, if we're diving, we definitely need to target somebody instead of just going mm -hmm. in. Like... Yeah. That's one thing I think we need to work on. But overall, I thought we did good. Yeah. And then, uh, I I could agree there. But uh, what what would you do? Th what do you think of uh, Menominee's overall overall posture and composition? Like how how well do you think their communications went? I just want an insight on you know what you think of the team. I I thought they did. I thought they played very well. But um, they did get outplayed by a Case. I thought they did. They played well. Like they were, their Reaper was really. <laughs> really annoying. getting on us. <laughs> yeah, he was almost as good as Addison with that getting behind you guys and shredding up your back line. Dude, as the back line, I was like, oh no, this is the end. You saw your health go down and you started panicking. And I was like, oh no. Like, there's nothing like, I can do against the Reaper. It's just me, so. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure, like, if you were doing it. crouch spamming enough, I'm sure you could get him, but... <laughs> you can just, just press shift them about a billion times per second. But yeah, sure exactly. Them. What about you, Dominic? What did you think about the enemy team? Uh, they were well. They played some good. I guess they played a good comp, and they were really honest the entire time. They well, they broke my shield quite a few times. That put me into a panic mode and just survive mentality. And yeah. The uh, the the uh the counter earth shatters. I saw you had an earth shatter, but uh, unfortunately, when you pinned the Lucy, it got shattered. That was a that was a wipe on your team. Yeah. 
That uh, pretty sure you were that messed me thinking, up. I'm pretty sure you're definitely thinking I I'm gonna pin this Lucia, turn it around, and earth shatter and get play. Yep, that's that was the mentality, but it uh, didn't work out. Um, yeah, got shattered myself. Yep. <laughs> you got got. Oh, yeah, I did get got. Yeah. Surprised you didn't shatter you before you put the Lucio through the wall. No. Well, uh, I don't think he had it at that time because I definitely think he would have too to save his team, but who knows? Yeah, he does know. Well, uh, do you guys have any questions for us? Maybe uh, on our side, like, um, you know, questions about how we saw you guys or saw Menominee, nothing? No. No? No, I don't think so. All right, well, uh, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, it was a great game, and congrats on the win. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, have a great night, and uh, we will be uh, ending the stream now. So, um, we'll wait, 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 we got to do our outro. Yeah. Well, thank I'm you, everyone, yeah. for coming out for the stream. And um, I'm Bryce. This is Aiden. Uh, and have I'm a good Aiden. rest of your night. Yep. Well, actually, actually, I want to do the what? guys. Guys, this is like this is post movie. This is like the post movie. Oh, God. A, I, this is post movie. It's like a Marvel movie. The end credit scene. The yeah, end credit scene. We're opening loot boxes, boys. Opening loot boxes. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, see ya. No, see you. Get lucky, guys. Come on, put Pogs in chat. I need this one. Come on. Ooh, purple. I got money. This is, this is sad. One more, guys. One more. No, no, no. We didn't get in. That good. This is so sad, guys. Well, thank you for coming to the stream. We will be ending. Uh, have a great night, you guys. Don't forget to check out our merch, too.